Hey ladies and gents, it's Zem back and we are playing with Mill Hill and San. Uh, both these guys are members of Shrike and uh, Mill's playing the Grill Grill A 15, the tier 10 German tank destroyer. Yeah, Mill Hill is probably one of the best players on the NA server. Um, yeah, it looks like he's going for the 3 MOE on the uh, old Grill A here. And we got Insen here and the Wheezy1321. So this should be an interesting. Uh, I'm kind of bringing this game not only because it was a, a good game to watch, uh, but it's interesting to watch, um, especially the Unicom players like this, uh, how they, you know, it, this isn't a great TD map. Certainly not a great TD map uh, necessarily for a lightly skinned, lightly armored TD such as the Grill A. Um, he's going to be here supporting uh, Insen. Insen's going around here and see if he can pick up some spotting across the other side. So Mill's moved into position here relatively quick here, uh, and he's looking for his first shot, hopefully picking up something that Insen pulls across the other, the other way. This is not exactly, like I said, always the best necessarily for um, lightly skinned TDs, uh, just because there's, there's, there's kind of a, you know, you want to get some shots, um, you know, you, especially with this thing. You want to be not seen as little as possible, uh, and it's kind of a short map. Um, you don't have a lot of firing lanes uh, until late in the game when uh, either the uh, the uh, one tube um, breaks apart or whatnot. So yeah, it's always interesting to see uh, these guys play here. So he pulls in on the Leo, and of course that is actually a hit. Uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, it didn't he uh, didn't splash the other side. Uh, with the shell and you can see of course now the Leo has only 1286 uh, hit points left so he's worked his way over here he's still trying to see if he can pick up any e uh, easy shots uh, crossing here uh, he's also supporting uh, Insen who's down here uh, trying to bait the Weezy into doing something stupid uh, however the Weezy 1321 is not doing it he's just hanging out there not terribly sure why he's still hanging out there by now if I was an artillery player I would have dropped it down there so he moves over here into the another position. This is another great position if you're a TD player. Works really nice, especially if you have a, a tank down here in the bottom. Um, one of these guys are trying to shoot you. So he's looking here, waiting for the AMX-30 to poke up a little higher. There you go. Gets the shot on the AMX-30. Oh, and now he's not going to poke no more because, you know, hey, he just took a 700-plus damage shot to the face. So no more shots to be had there. Um, and, and this is typically, like I said, with these light skin TDs, you see most of the time they're going to park their ass up there on that hill next to the two arties because they're just, they just don't get involved in the game. However, Mill is a different kind of player, um, and this is kind of like I said, we're going to see where some of the, uh, the uh, aggressive gameplay that he's going to be doing here uh, is going to rack up some uh, impressive damage and uh, a number of kills for him. So, he's got four tanks ahead of him. He's playing the support. Now he's got five tanks pushing here. Uh, he's playing the support role here. Um, a little more aggressive than you normally would. You now, like most light skin tanks, Scorpion Gs, SU-130 PMs, those and whatnot, you want to be a back aways, right? Because uh, you're going to get shit on uh, as soon as you get spotted, especially with this, uh, the Grill A and these huge uh, cannon on this thing here. So he pulls around, looks for the MX-30. No! Eight Chan is like, nah, I've already got shot once. I don't think I'm going to push up there and do it again. So back around he goes here. So we have a T95 and we have a Martian. So Jagdpanzer E100, STB1, they've both fired. And this is what I was talking about, uh, some of the difference here. He's not going to take the shot himself. He's going to wait until one of them, you know, obviously takes both of them shot. So he's waiting for the reroll. He's going to pull in there, take his shot right off the bat, uh, and therefore... Uh, get his damage without receiving any damage here. T-54 is like, uh, oh, no, that didn't work. However, uh, he's going to pick up the T-95, nails him, 387. It's got 2,100 on the 2100 on the board so far. Ooh, there is the M-5355. The Jagdpanzer 100 misses. Leo's shooting at the 5355. Yeah, there we go. Finishes off the 5355. And the only damage he takes, uh, he gets shot by the, <laughs> gets shot by the STB-1. Oh well, shit happens. So he's got a Moss in front of him, the Eggpanzer E100 here, and he, no, there's there's that Lee over here. So he's, you know, this is kind of where you want to be, uh, as far back as possible so you don't get shot um, with these uh, lightly skinned TDs. All right, waiting for the Leo to pop, because, you know, he's going to. Uh, he's looking at the Eggpanzer E100 and that Moss. 
we're both pretty well down to both one shots actually all three of these things are one shots except for mill mill sees the leo he's got the nice position here uh, behind the tree uh, so he didn't actually get spotted when he made that shot around the corner he goes there's one grill grillet left uh sitting six three and fucking incense still alive this is unusual every time i play with incense he's dead but here he is i guess he just likes mill better than me i guess so around the corner he comes Grill hay is, the grill hay is just fired, so he's going to pull up here and get, see if he can get a shot on him. However, he does see the Wheezy 1321 going up the hill. He's like, yeah, we'll see if we'll put a shot on him right away. And get, rolls low with a 595. Kind of gets shit on on that deal. Okay, the grill hay is like, nah, let's see here. I'm going to wait for him to pop. That's all right. He's not going to pay attention. Never mind. Takes a shot at the uh, moss. Mill moves around. Like I said, Mill's pretty much playing in this textbook as you can. He's not losing HP. He's letting the uh, enemy uh, take the shots. Uh, when they do, he's able to move in uh, and put in some support here. So he's got the Emil 2. Uh, decides the PTA decides to go YOLO off the hill. And it's just him and the Moss here now. 9-5 uh, lead. The Moss seems to be interested in shooting that... Uh, I said say Yagtagger's interested in shooting the Moss, so Mill is able to slip in another nice shot. Now he's down to 52 health. Let's see what Mill's going to do. He's already at 5100 on the board showing. And, oh, pulls over just a little too far. Uh, wasn't able to use that bush for cover. Takes a shot for, to the from the Yag. Loses both Commander and both Loaders. That would have been suck, suckage. So up the hill he goes. He's got uh, the Emil. Bat chat and the M46 Pat here. He's sitting on seven kills. Um, let's see what we can pull off here. E75's finally showed up. And we're sitting 10 6. Pretty nice here. Let's see if he can pick up the Radleys with the eight kill. Up the hill he goes. Looking for that uh, artillery. There's a T30 down there. Up and over he goes. Uh, still can't see him. There he goes. Amazing camouflage on that BC155. So, Waiting for his uh, reload here. Patton's right here. Still doesn't see the uh, ammo. There we go. Patton's almost dead. Picks up his eighth kill. Finishes off the Patton. Sitting him up 5,400. He's got one guy to kill. One more reload. And like I said, this is kind of, you know, if you're playing lightly thin skin TD and you want to do some damage, uh, you can't kind of play off to you. You have to play outside of your... Um, Play outside of your comfort zone, maybe that's the word. And Mill does a nice job here of playing a not a great TD map, and he's doing it with a light-skinned TD. So with 5,700 on the board, and he had another 1,510 or something like that on those two blind shots. Yeah, nice 7K game for Mill. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good night.